right. Uh, what's going on, guys? Cruising podcast. Um, we want to talk about today the Flash. Not only just the Flash, but like what's going to happen with DC from here. Because, I mean, the movie flopped big time. I mean, I, 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 we didn't think it was going to flop that bad. Um, but there was a lot of... The movie was, I think, in my opinion, very overhyped. Um, not even from the fans, but just the studio. Like, you know, these leaked insider sources saying that it's the best thing since The Dark Knight. Tom Cruise called the studio saying that it was the movie we needed right now. I mean, it, it was like such high praise that I couldn't help but, you know, get excited for it. I was like, man, this is this. Maybe it is that good. You know, they're bringing back Michael Keaton. Ben Affleck was in there. We thought they were going to like really send off everyone in a good way. Set up the future of the new DCU and stuff like that. Um we saw it, you know, opening day and stuff, and it, it is not that at all. It's <laughs> fine at best. I mean, it's like a solid. I w- I would give it like a six or a seven. Um, it's 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 fine. It's a fine movie. It's not anywhere where I thought it would be based off the hype and stuff like that. And I don't think it's. I don't want to say it's the director's fault or anybody who worked on its fault. I think it's just this movie has been through such a drastic change since it started this movie's been worked on for what i mean over five years and it's been through three different regimes of leadership in warner brothers you know um at first it was supposed to i mean the three alternate endings right because there's three different endings and one version of it was to satisfy like the first regime of leadership at warner brothers which was like make sure there's you know just it's just you know michael keaton's batman that's it and the second one was like oh well we might bring back everyone <coughs> for like the snyder verse because that was dave uh Zaslav. um let's bring back everyone and then james gunn came in and mind you they're doing reshoots for each of these different you know visions then james james gunn comes and is like no, no no we're not bringing back anyone we're you know starting fresh um so you do have to keep that in mind when watching this movie, and I think that's why a lot of the CG looks bad. I think, I think it's just a lot of VFX work that had to be done last minute based off changes, essentially that happened under a year ago. You know, the last alternate ending that we got in this movie, which is the official ending, they filmed it in January, and you know, and it says it in the article online, and James Gunn came in what September. Or so, November, I think it was. It was like right after Black Adam, when everybody thought Henry Cavill was coming back and all that. So it's been such a up and down, um, and I think that's why the VFX just looked really, really bad. I know Andy Muschietti said it's because when he's using the sp- the no. Speed Force, I get it in the, the when he's in the Speed Force doing the timeline thing. <coughs> that's make, an excuse. No, yeah, yeah, but like I'm saying, the Speed Force when he's in that Speed Force timeline. And he's going back in time. There, it's like, okay, I can kind of get it, maybe, because he's going through time. But there's the whole third act. The CG looks undone. Even the beginning, the opening sequence looks unfinished. Like, a lot of it looks really, really uh, just, like, raw VFX. Like, it doesn't look complete. And, again, I don't think it's nobody's fault. I think it's just a timing issue. And they just, I think there is a lot of reshoots going on you know and then on top of that you add the Ezra Miller drama that you know, I'm sure a lot of people were turned off by that They're like I don't want to support somebody that's working I mean he was doing some crazy shit I mean he choked a woman he was it was crazy um and the fact that Warner Brothers is considering bringing him back without any sort of consequence and I don't mind like he takes a leave of absence or something. He takes a break. Hey, I got to work, you know, the, the whole But he spiel. wasn't even that good. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into that. But it's like, it, it, we don't even get through that process. It was just like, oh, you know. And, and then that, that was part of the hype, too. They were like, the movie's so good. It's going to make you want to, like, you, it's going to make you want him back. And I was like, all right, let's see, you know. And then I, it was none of that. I'm it sorry. Was none I, of that. It was very messy. I'm pretty you know? sure you can find a way better Flash. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I never like he wasn't. I never really liked his version. Like of the he Flash. wasn't like this crazy good. Like oh my god, this guy is like like killing the role. Like I don't yeah, know. I feel like you can find someone better. Yeah, yeah, and 
Yeah. I, his uh, acting was sometimes just weird. Yeah, because especially after we started watching like the, the DC animated stuff after watching Flash, because I was curious that we watched Flashpoint Paradox and stuff. Very different portrayal no, of but, the character. Uh, like, because you, you can tell what was like, like a part of the, uh, what is it called? The, the um, reshoots. Yeah. Because like his acting was just off. It's like, th- there's different, yeah, it's weird. There's different versions of his, of his acting. Like, I don't know. Like, you can it's tell weird. he just came in real quick, filmed a couple of scenes, and just and left. There, there's some stuff, and it's in the trailer, too. There's some stuff that he look, he is straight up CGI. Like, that shot from when they're in the war zone against Zod, and he's just like, yeah, you know, like, that's CG. And I have a, I, I don't know what happened in this movie. Um, I, it just, I didn't, I really believed all the people, even there's, you know, but the, these are reporters or, you know, you're being invited to a private screening. You, you're going to say it's good. You're not going to bash the a shows. movie. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to keep getting invited back. I yeah. get it, whatever. But they're like, oh yeah. But then you can kind of tell when somebody's bullshitting, right? Because you don't just come out and say, like, wh- you can tell, like, when they come out and they're like, oh, guys, this movie's so great. Oh, you know, it's so good. Like, Across the Spider-Verse or something. When they come out and they're like, you know, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was fun. I enjoyed it. And it's like, okay, so you didn't like it. You don't want to say it, but you didn't like it. And you can kind of tell. And I think what didn't help this movie either is Across the Spider-Verse came out not long before it. That's, like, an amazing movie that I think tackles the multiverse perfectly. And then you have this movie where, especially after watching Justice League Paradox, the animated film, that one is so good. And if they only, if they did more of what that film did in this, I think they could have really concluded the Snyderverse really well and then set up the next generation of DC films. I really wanted them to do that. And I really thought they were. And we, we, we do not at all. Um, I was really let down by that. The movie left me, if anything, more confused than excited for the future. Because I've moved on, right? Like, I understand there's going to be a new everything now at DC. But this movie, and I came into this movie expecting to be ready to move on from our past DCEU with Snyderverse and all that and move into this James Gunn era. And the movie does not do that at all. I, it, I, it doesn't feel like a good conclusion for any of the characters involved. I feel like, actually, if anything, a lot of characters were done a disservice. Uh, ben Affleck, honestly, even Michael Keaton, which he was cool to see, but his character, too. Um, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but who plays Supergirl. She was a standout. She was really good. Yeah, her she was Michael the only Keaton. good thing in the movie. Her and, and Michael Keaton. Her and Michael Keaton were great. Ben, ben Affleck was good, but he was r- literally in the first five minutes, ten minutes. But he was great, and I would have loved to have seen more with him. And he should have been the brave and the bold. Yeah. Um, and it just wasn't any of that. It, it, when it ended, I, uh, I was more confused, especially with the ending. That, and especially now finding out that that was filmed in January and it was like a last minute thing. They're like, oh, yeah, let's do that. So I guess it's supposed to be a gag. So for those of you who've seen it by now, you know who we're talking about. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But, you know, it's just really disappointing and and i i where does dc go from here you know like the movie's flopping i think it hit like 55 million in the weekend and it's gonna have like a 60 percent drop yeah this weekend um we're filming this as of right now it's thursday uh the 20 what first second second so it's been out for a bit and that first weekend it did only like 55 I think maybe like 150 worldwide or something. That was that's worse than Black Adam, if I'm not mistaken. It's up to par of not or not worse than Black. No, Adam. Black Adam did better. Yeah, so it, it's like they're saying by the end of its run, it could hit like Black Adam numbers, where it's not going to do that great. And people were harsh on Black Adam, like straight from the beginning. And I, where does DC go from here? I mean, Blue Beetle. Not even just that, but you're looking at your numbers. Your movies have been flopping. Shazam flop. Warner Bros. is selling like their assets. Yeah. So it's it's not looking good for them. So like what what at this point, 
And I really fl- thought Flash was going to do this, but I guess not. I guess at this point we just have to ride out these just heart, like just pointless, crappy, crappy movies. DC movies until Superman comes out. <sighs> and I really hope that Superman and everything that comes after uh, is... A st- I, I, I hope it's worth it. No, Superman better there, be good. Superman I, better be... Like, yeah. really good. And I like James Gunn, and I, I'm rooting for him. I, I really hope it works, because you are right now putting, you're putting, like, the fans through these movies right now, and it's leaving a stain on the I DC even, brand. Leaving a stain. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I know they can't do it, but damn. Honestly, I would just cancel. Like, the Aquaman 2. Yeah, you can't. They got to make something back. That's the thing. It's Dude, tough. That's not going to make money. No, it's not. It's not. Because, like, again, there's no, it doesn't connect to anything. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't, it doesn't connect. It's, that's a big part of it. And is the movie going to be good? And also, you have Amber Heard in the yeah. movie. No, that's another thing that people are going to, I'm sure once that, tra- we haven't even gotten a trailer yet for Aquaman. Wasn't it, didn't they move Aquaman away from Avatar 2? Yeah. No, no, Shazam. Shazam, yeah, oh, Shazam. Shazam. But when is Aquaman, like, what was the original? I have no idea. Um, I think it's going to come out late Because they year. haven't talked about the movie at all. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling they're going through very quiet. Because they did reshoots when Zaslow or Zaslov was like. Yeah, they brought back Ben Affleck. He was like, we're bringing back everyone. They did reshoots for that. Now James Gunn came in and is like, no, we're not doing that anymore. They could have. They could have redeemed it. Yeah. Uh, they, they that's, that, that's what I'm saying. I hope it's. I hope what James Gunn has planned is worth it because honestly, I think they could have salvaged. You don't have to continue Zack Snyder's vision. That's fine. I understand that. But you could have had the but same But you characters. could have continued that group and just take it in a different direction tonally. Man you of Steel through, 2. You do, yeah. you do Man of Steel 2. You set up something there. And I read that article about the alternate endings and the second one when they announced everyone was coming back. At the, at the end of the movie, it was going to be like Henry Cavill coming out, uh, Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, the su- Supergirl. I would have liked to see Flash. Henry with the Supergirl. That's what they were going to do. They were going to start teasing him and her, and she was going to be in Man of Steel 2. Because this so is when cool. they were working on Because she was great as Supergirl. Like, she was really yeah, awesome. Yeah, she plays Superman's cousin. And she was, a, she's really, they, they didn't treat, like, she was kind of pointless, I think, in the movie. Um, and it's not her fault because I thought the character was really good. And the first thing I thought of was, was wow, I would have loved to have seen this Supergirl. With Henry Cavill. With Henry Cavill's uh, Superman and like <sighs> a Man of so Steel 2. Cool. That would have been so cool. You know? And that would have been really exciting. And I think they could have really done something there. I think they, they really could have salvaged it. Before James Gunn came in, they were doing the reshoots for Aquaman. They, did, they added shots for The Flash. They added stuff. They could have added something for Shazam, probably. And they really could have made it work. And a Ben Affleck solo yeah. Batman and movie. They really could have made it work. They, and <sighs> then, but, you know, James Gunn, Gunn came and he's like, I don't want to do any of this. We're going to, we're, we're changing Is it, it. The, the, the authorities? Yeah, and he just didn't want to go that route. So now. And what are other characters he wants to do? DC and Warner Bros. really put themselves in a tough spot. Because that, I think, it would have been easier to save it. With the current cast, but now you're asking people to, hey, sit through these films. They're kind of messy because we're not doing this anymore. But stick around because, for the next because generation. Because Blue Beetle was filmed before yeah. James Gunn. Yeah. No. Well, apparently Blue Beetle, since it's its own movie, apparently that's like gonna be that's part of the DCU. Or is he just saying that because they wanted to make money? The same way he said the Flash is the greatest movie of all time. Yeah, he was. Re- I'm telling you, yeah. they were hyping up the Flash. Like, yeah. So time. I think he's just saying that because the movie's done. Yeah, he didn't do that for Shazam, though. No, but Shazam was different. They did Shazam dirty, man. Yeah, but because he did, he did him dirty because he didn't want Zachary Levi back. Yeah. Again, he has. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like he has little bones to pick with certain people. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because the way he talked about Henry and the way like the, like, the meeting went, the way like, like Ben Affleck never the meeting. Yeah. He kind of threw shade at him a little bit. Yeah, Ben Affleck was not. He was not into the. Because Ben Affleck liked working with Zack Snyder. Yeah. And he, and he probably didn't like the direction that they were trying to do with... 
Guess not, man. To shake his because like Ben Affleck in the Flash, like as Bruce Wayne, I was like, he looked dude, good. he looks he looked awesome. He looked good, and, and his acting too. Like I don't know, I, I like I feel like he finally figured out the character. Yeah, yeah, he did. He he said it in uh in an interview, and I think it was like a podcast or an interview. He said it like he was really it on Howard fig- Stern. The- I don't know. I forgot the interview, but he did say like he had finally he kind of like cracked the character. He's like, even though I'm in it for five minutes, but I feel like I had really, like, he really liked that portrayal. No, you can tell, like, like, like when you see him, at, like, as Bruce Wayne, it's like, oh, you yeah. thought he feels comfortable, like, he figured it out. Especially after watching the animated movie of Flashpoint Paradox, seeing what, he really could have been the heavy point yeah, emotionally yeah, after, for that movie. That was, that was my, my first time watching it, and we, we saw it literally right after watching The Flash. It made me like The Flash less. Yeah, I didn't, like, because I, oh, I thought The Flash was decent, but after watching that movie... I was like, oh no, never mind. Yeah, because because what they should have done, so of Michael Key, and they should have done like uh, uh, Thomas Wayne. Yeah, that would have been so much better. And <sighs> then you know it it, it could have came full circle with Bruce, or and you could have had like, like that been kind of cool, like, like the Wonder Woman Aquaman kind of yeah. like the fighting, like that been really cool to yeah. see. But again, they give us Zod, who even Michael Shannon was like, yeah, I didn't really like my <laughs> movie, <laughs> like you didn't give a shit. I'm such a happy little boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank Such you a so happy much. little boy. I can't believe that video. I, I thought that was from a show. Yeah, I, we were talking about this the other day. It's literally from like a Criterion collection. He was going through DVDs. That's where I bought the Wally. Yeah, 4K. And he he. I thought that was for a show. I thought he was in a new role or a funny show or like. No, that's that's him. That's just him. Like that's real. They literally just took that from an interview with him, and he's a very nice guy. He seems like a nice guy. And even he was like, yeah, he doesn't want to do the superhero stuff. He, he declined the Star Wars Star role. Wars. He doesn't want any, He wants no part in that stuff. And I think he knows why. He, he gets it. But I don't know, man. This, he's in a very tough spot. It's flopping and flopping. And, I mean, yeah, they're, I, the they're selling licenses to their music, to their movies. And Batman movies. Some of the Batman movies. People were saying, uh, it, uh, could this be it? And it was like and, the and, Snyderverse and, and, and on they, Netflix. And they lost uh, Nolan, too. And they lost Nolan. So, like... Yeah, man, because Oppenheimer is going to make money. It's going to make money. And that could have been tell, for them, yeah. They're, they're like, fuck. Well, I saw they're having a meeting with them to try and, like, bring them back. Yeah, they were going to offer them a big bonus. Nah, he ain't coming back. Yeah, Christopher Nolan left. And they they burned in, that bridge. He's in Universal, and now Warner Brothers is trying to buy him back. And they offered him, like, a bonus and everything. Uh, I don't know if he is, though. I doubt They're it. They're going to offer him an a orgy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it was, like, millions of dollars in bonus. Nah, um, but he's not coming back. No, he, he was pissed. Yeah. He yeah. was pissed. It was messed up. That tenant was meant for the theater. Um, he did his best. No, but now he did, and and they screwed over all the other movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they did. Without saying anything to anyone. Remember, they were gonna put a uh, was it Dune or uh, yeah, Dune? A bunch and, of movies. Was it Godzilla Kong? And straight. And to they got sued by uh, yeah. uh, Legendary because like we paid for half yeah, the yeah, movie. We didn't agree to that. Yeah, it's a mess right now. Yeah, they're selling like rights to their music and this, and there's people saying, "Wait, is this?" Is there a possibility that the Snyderverse can continue on Netflix? <laughs> Dude, <I> was, <laughs> no way. Snyder, he, he, he's it always ain't wins until it's that, done. That, that motherfucker always wins. <laughs> I, I mean, we heard remember, those rumors. You know, but you remember what he said uh, in that uh, panel thing that that con that they did. He does. He still doesn't give out all his he, info. You remember? Well, he we said, find out now. No, but didn't someone ask him about that? Something with Netflix, and he kind of like. That's what I'm saying. Well, we find out now. That means it's been this has been happening, or the people in the in the industry knew this for months. So dude, maybe those dude. leaks that we were we were hearing those leaks about if Netflix Zach doing Snyder, a Snyderverse, and if, we were like, oh, how is that possible? It doesn't make sense because it's Warner Bros. Dude. They're licensing <laughs> off characters. You imagine they all go back to Snyder. I'll tell you what, Netflix will get a boost in uh, subscriptions. No, I know, no, no, and you put the shit at theaters. Yeah, I, I don't know how Warner Bros. will make. I guess they're getting money up front from that. Like Netflix is paying them money up front. So is there a possibility oh, that God, please. Netflix can acquire some rights? I, to I this like stuff? Zack Snyder. I I like it. Like like he has a style. Yeah. Which I like. I always ha- I'm always a fan of that. Like he has a cool style. Yeah. Like yeah. Like are his movies that like masterpieces? Not like well, like not all of them. Some, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like like 300. Like was a really good film. Like like yeah, some of his movies are like the Army of the Dead. It's just a yeah, zombie I wasn't movie. Yeah, a fan of that one. But yeah. it's like you know, I'm I'm actually excited for his new one, the Rebel. Yeah, Moon. Rebel Moon was cool. It looks, it looks cool. cool. It's a new series. 
That's new it, like, it, new it, like franchise. It's interesting. Is there a possibility that Netflix? I I, I that? liked what he was trying to do with the with his superhero stuff. I, it, it was a different take. Yeah. It was a different I, take. I, I, his... I know it wasn't like comic book accurate, like with yeah. Man of Steel and stuff. But I guess like he was trying to like put it modern. Yeah, it's just his own take. Because because even own. Nolan backed them for Man of Steel. Yeah. Nolan produced it or executive produced. Yeah, he produced Man of Steel, but that, once they went into the Justice League stuff, he wasn't really a part yeah, of Yeah, because the original plan was to have like his Dark Knight trilogy yeah. kind of thing. And I don't yeah. know. And Let's see. Let's. I mean, is that could that be a possibility? You know, I hope that would be really. interesting. I really. I just want to see Ben Affleck as Batman again. Yeah, that. Because did you see the rumor who might be? Or not like a rumor, but. Like, that who guy, would like yeah. that guy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see the look, but... <sighs> ben Affleck is like Andrew Garfield with Spider-Man. He's that for Batman. Like, you see the potential. Yeah, he but just he wasn't like, given a fair he shot. He had, like, that Dark Knight Returns look. Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what... Um, I was watching the making of Justice League with Zack Snyder. And, and that's what he wanted. That's exactly what he was going for. And what I liked, too, was, you know, Zack Snyder was improving and- his mistakes from the previous ones so like batman v superman what you know it has its it has some big issues but his justice league movie i think was a big improvement i really enjoyed justice league and i was interested to see where it would go from there but it looks i mean maybe it's not impossible i don't i'm dark side was awesome in that movie i love dark side in that movie but maybe there's a possibility that's interesting but warner Bros. i'm must glad be losing. i bought those uh, statues yeah of- yeah those are nice I don't know. I get Warner Brothers must be losing a lot of money if they're selling their. Oh, please, Snyder. They're selling their licenses up front. The thing like, is, he's, people he's, are paying. The things he's working on, Rebel Moon. So yeah. How is he going to handle the no, time? No, that wouldn't be now. But I mean, it's it's interesting. It's interesting that Warner Brothers is going through that. That's a big deal. Like they must be losing money. Yeah, because honestly, so. I'm DC right now. I'm not a big fan. I like the only thing I'm. I'm looking forward to is Matt Reeves' his Batman movies yeah. and, and Joker too. That's what people are saying. The only DC movies that have made money right now are the Elseworlds. Why? Because, the, well, number one, they're really good. And two, it has a style. Like, it has, like, yeah. like a just... A, it has a vision. That's it. It's not going to... I'm all worried about the Matt phases. Reeves, though, man. Like, how long are we going to have to wait for part two? No, it, it's... I, when the, we're going to get the Penguin show, and then a little bit after, it's going to yeah, be... Yeah, but this writer's strike doesn't end. Yeah, I know. And the Penguin show, too... It stopped filming. Yeah, but I, apparently it's... Um, rated R. Like rated R. Well, and for Mature, because it's TV. But, yeah. So, they're really... I, I like what they're doing here, you know? The show looks really good. Yeah. The trailer, that, that little teaser where we got, yeah, like, it was yeah. really cool. It looks really good. So... That stuff I'm excited for. The Joker, Joker sequel I'm really excited for. And the Matt Reeves Batman, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Because Aquaman 2, don't care. No. I can Blue Beetle. I, dude, I'm... Blue I, Beetle does not look... Look appealing yeah. at all. I've like seen that. that trailer enough times to kind of get what it's going to be. I'm like, I'll pass. It looks like a generic Marvel movie. Yeah. And I, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Uh, I just don't want to see DC go. It actually that does. Route. Like when I saw the trailer before the Flash, when they really showed it, yeah. I was like, "Man, this looks like a generic Marvel movie." Yeah. Like it doesn't feel like a DC movie. It, it looks like a Marvel movie. Yeah. Yeah. And and also, what's this thing with CGI like looking like crap? Yeah. Uh, the suit looks good because it's a real suit. It's a real suit uh, with Blue Beetle, but it's like practical. The cool. you know you got George Lo- like George Lopez and stuff. I was like, all right, I'm. I think I'm, I could have taken him serious out. with that haircut. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, that's out. how the character looks. The yeah, that's fine. I just. It's not for me. I'm just, yeah, it's not for me. You know, uh, I hope it's good. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe it's just a bad trailer, but. I don't know. That trailer didn't look really. Yeah, no. But let's see. Let's see. Warner Brothers is going through a lot of shit. Shazam right 2 was funny. It was funny. But at this point, honestly, I'm at a point where if you're blowing it all up, blow it up already don't like you're sitting us through these movies and we're there's no reward for it that's why people don't care to watch it it's only normal you know like people anytime someone asks me like hey you know what did you think of the flash i I tell them honestly like dude honestly it was kind of whatever like it was a little overhyped well extremely overhyped and they're like oh damn like there's people that gen like people don't want to spend almost 20 bucks on a shitty movie so they're like, oh, you think I shouldn't see it? I was like, oh, well, 
I mean, I think you should see it. So Go you watch Spider Verse. Get your yeah, Go Spider watch Verse. Across. Spider Verse. We've seen twice already, and I would like to see it one more time. The thing is that it it wasn't in IMAX and Dolby for that long. Yeah, because of um, the Flash. Which I know, which sucks. Cause yeah, because Spider Man was great. And again, that didn't help Flash either. We just came from watching Across the Spider Verse, and I'm sitting through here, and it's like Ezra Miller saving babies. Off which a I'm sorry, people love. Like I thought that scene was awful. I was. I thought it was a little obnoxious. Like it, this is the your opening sequence. I, this is I don't this know. is what's supposed to hook me in. And, and I was, knew, I knew, I, I didn't at you. like yeah. it. I didn't like it. Remember, at all. we looked at each other like after that sequence, or I think it was during it or after. We just looked at each other. We we're like, oh no, we're in for a long mm-hmm. ride. Until and it was Michael Ke- until like until like when Michael Keaton came in, I was like, okay, I'll I'll endure this. Like, I was it, honestly already kind of checked out by then. Michael Keaton is Michael Keaton. He's funny. Because he's I, I did like the fight scene that they have Michael Keaton. Yeah, even though it doesn't really... It doesn't add up with how the Kryptonians were in Man of Steel. I sent you that tweet. Like, the Kryptonians in Man of Steel would literally stop Superman. You know, like, they were no joke. And then here, it's like, you have the Flash and Batman, like, beating them up. And it's like... Mm. Again, just inconsistent because they're like, oh, fuck that. We're not falling, you know. Dang. And now I Andy mean, Muschietti look, look is doing at the, Brave look and the Bold. At, look at the Ben Affleck was Batman in this movie, The Flash. It was more like the Justice League Batman. Yeah, the humor. Yeah, that's when I was, I was like, oh, my God. They're and what like, is it? Every time they bring in a gal as Wonder Woman, they always do that same shot, that really close up with the music. It, it's, <laughs> it's probably the same shot. <laughs> they probably <laughs> is that Sasha like with the music? They probably got her once and like we're gonna use this in both these movies. Okay, yeah. So I don't know, man. I'm over. Just it. recast. Uh, they just recast everyone. Literally everyone. Yeah. At this point, and, and dude, don't even. I honestly don't even release. Like, like, because people were saying on Twitter, like, I think what we's better for DC is to cancel those two movies and just take a break. And have Superman be your next like movie. I do think they need to break, but they need to make some money. Or back. maybe just keep Blue Beetle on streaming. Well, they should have done. No, they're not gonna do that. It's it, like it, the first. It was an original streaming movie. It was original. Yeah, and then they saw it and they're like, oh, you know, I, I. Think oh, did they- you see those set pictures of Batgirl? Oh uh, no. Oh, let me see. If I can find it because I saw it on Twitter. Someone leaked a bunch of like, not leaked, but like some like it was a People bunch. People are of- releasing it probably. Yeah. Yeah, and it was actually like, damn. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Warner Brothers needs money, so the Blue Beetle they're gonna release it because they need, they want to make some money back. Because if you put it straight to streaming, you're not gonna make anything at all. And the same for Aquaman, they need to make some sort of money before, you know. They know. I, I feel like they know it's gonna flop, you know. And Blue Beetle because it's a big deal, you know. I think it's like their first Latino like superhero movie, at least for DC. So yeah, that's like is, a big deal for them. Be like, uh, like Transformers, where they just make that the whole. I character. hope not. I hope like I'm from Brooklyn, the, baby, Brooklyn. Yeah, that's the thing with um, when they like whenever cast they cast Hispanics, like Hispanics or Latinos so and stuff, and it's like, like for us watching it, we're like, we so, get it. You're yeah. Hispanic. Like when Hollywood makes it, your like whole it shtick. makes it your whole personality as a character. Like your character is based off the fact that they're Latino. It's like okay, like this is obnoxious. Because uh, Transformers, I'm pretty sure he said that he is from Brooklyn and like like these Spanish jokes. It was so many times I was like, okay, like it, it shouldn't be your whole personality, you know. Um, not the actor's fault. It's just, but they're not gonna put it straight to streaming because they need the money. Even if it makes 150 million, that's 150 million they got. That if it was on streaming, they wouldn't have made. So I kind of get why they do that. I agree they should have just taken a break. But they can. They need to make something back. That's the situation yeah, but, they're but, in. But they don't realize what they're doing. By the time Superman comes out, we're going to be so burnt out wanting your crappy-ass movies. I mean, after Aqu- Aquaman comes out this year, I it's, think. No, but Blue Beetle's first, then Aquaman, and, and then it. Superman. No, no, but Superman's like 2025. So there, there is going to be a break. There's going to be like... A year. Over, I would say a year and a half, almost two years, depending. I would say like mm-hmm. almost two, a year and a half, let's say. That's enough time to kind of like just forget. Because Aquaman has no release date still. So <sighs> I don't know what's going on with Aquaman anymore. I don't know. It's I don't know. It's it sucks. You know. But let's see what DC does. Let's see what James Gunn has cooking up his sleeve there. I hope it's good because, uh, 
I gotta say, like doing this to the brand and then giving no hope. Because that's the thing. These movies feel like they have there's no hope for DC anymore. In the sense of like Henry Cavill's gone. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, because they didn't even show Aquaman 2 at the Comic-Con. Yeah, no, they've been hiding it for a while. And then they were doing reshoots that they found Ben Affleck uh, at Jason Momoa's trailer. December, yeah, December of this year. Yeah. Aquaman 2, December 2023. It's still no trailer. That's, that's if it doesn't get pushed that's back. That's in a couple months. But that's if it doesn't get delayed. That's uh, if it doesn't get delayed. Uh, when is this trailer going to come out? I I think they might be doing like some secret reshoots, touch ups. I know that means more crappy CGI. Yeah, I have a feeling that's what's going on. They're probably trying to really. Yeah, you see, it was booked for last year, twenty twenty two. Yeah, it was delayed to March of this year, and then now it's delayed again to December. Yeah, they swapped it with Shazam. Shazam came out in March. Yeah, the movie's not yeah, ready. Yeah, because I think they're trying to edit out this uh, this chick out of the movie. No, and. I also think yeah, it's yeah, not like, ready. No, it's not ready, but I think I, I read up once that they're like reshooting to like remove her more, to limit her screen time as much uh, as possible. Which means the VF, poor VFX guys. They're, uh, the VFX people are going to no, be and, and You know what's going to hurt too this movie? We just got off Avatar 2, yeah. who, who mastered water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we're going to watch Aquaman, which is going to have a crappy CGI water, like, like Little Mermaid. Yeah, yeah. Watching the Little Mermaid trailer, I was like, yeah, this... After the Avatar way of water really spoils you and what how good CGI can be. That is nothing. Yeah, I know. We're gonna have and still no trailer too. There's no trailer, not even a teaser. So that means they like the, are, and this has been delayed. Yeah, that that's a bad sign. That's just, that that means they're not ready. Like they're not even ready for a trailer. <laughs> that's tough, man. Um Let's see what happens with DC. I don't know. I'm kind of like, and, and it's Superman. true. I don't want to say I'm fatigued of superhero movies because Across the Spider Verse left me so excited to watch the third one. So I'm not gonna say it's just because of superhero movies. I'm gonna say it's because of generic, <laughs> like generic, bland superhero movies. And I, one thing that I will say is I I, I saw an interview with James Gunn. And he said the same thing. He's like, it's it's. There's no emotion. There's no heart. Because you know what? I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I thought it was really refreshing. I think it's just, and he said this, it's, we're getting like this generic storyline, no emotion. They, they don't care about the characters. It just feels like the same movie over and over. So I appreciate James Gunn saying that. And I think he has the right idea. And I'm hoping that he can really deliver on DC and really turn right now. Like there's a lot of weight on his shoulders. Like he has to turn the brand around of DC comic book movies, you know? And I, I think he can do it. I like that. He's, he mentions that he's getting, he's learning from Marvel and like what not to do as well as what to do. Honestly, the flash could have ended where it's a different universe. And Ben Affleck's Batman has like a family. He has like a kid and that's your brave and the bold. Like, okay, oh, shit, I'm in a different universe now. This is, you know. But I can see, because look, look at the comic. Yeah, yeah, he has, like, the jawline and stuff. It would be interesting. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I really hope they, they do this right, man. I'm kind of, I'm already tired. I'm exhausted from it. It hasn't even started, you yeah, know? No. And also, too, like... <laughs> What's the tone of these movies? Gonna, what are they going to be? Is it going to be like Justice League tone yeah. or like Marvel humor? And, and hopefully the CGI is good. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. But um, let's see. Let's see. And who's going to cast as Superman? Yeah, that's the big one. Everybody's waiting on that. Who's going to be the Henry Cavill replacement? That's, that's, all, that's all people are going to look at. People are... People are sitting right now, and they don't care about the movie. They just want to look at it. Like, who, who is it that's so much better than Henry, than Henry Cow. Cow? That's all people are waiting for right now. And Henry they don't Cow care about the script. They don't care what, how... I, I, I think the reason why he didn't want Henry Cow was because he's not a yes man. No, I, I just think he wants a brand no, new vision. No, because look at who he keeps. He, well, wants, he brings back Jason Momoa. 
Well, right now we have no idea who's staying. Yeah, but staying. He, he, he brings him back as Lobo. He just gave him a new role. I, I don't know because you look at the Aquaman, especially like in the Flash movie, what it kind of says, certain characters are staying. But exactly. Like, I, I think because, never, Jason Moe, he's very easygoing. He's a yes yeah. man. Henry Cavill, he kind of like challenges directors sometimes because he did with Zack Snyder. He does with other people. Yeah, I don't know. So I think he doesn't like that. Well, the studio itself just didn't like him for whatever reason, too. I, I don't know. They just never wanted him in anything. It's crazy. I don't know. Uh, there, there's don't a know. reason. There, there's a reason why they don't like Henry Cavill. Who knows? Who knows? Um, let's see. I know everybody's waiting. Everybody's like, hmm, who's, who's replacing my Henry Cavill? That's all people are going to look at. They're going to look at the person. They're going to tell you whether they, they're in it or not. Cavill. And then that trailer, that first trailer needs to be the best thing of Superman we've seen in years. It's got, it's got to be that good. You know, it's got to be that good. Supposedly for people to shut up. For people to shut up and be like, okay, I see what you did there. I, I don't know. It's a lot. That's a lot, you know. But let's what see. is it called? Superman Legacy? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I I, I, I like James Gunn, man. I hope I hope he proves of proves us proves us all wrong, you know. But well, I'm not no, gonna lie, I'm exhausted. It's not like he has to, like he has to prove everyone wrong. I hope so. Because that movie sucks. Like like you're done for his sake. Because yeah, Warner Bros. is like <laughs> fuck, we're we're broke. <laughs> no, like if that movie fails, their DCU, the new one, is dead on arrival, and then that would make them question. Fuck, should we have just fixed what we already had? And Zack Snyder will be there. Waiting. With, with, with his pecker out. <laughs> like, Thanos, where did that bring you? Back to me. And he's like, with his Snyderverse Netflix series? If that happens, that because be Because look at the, his, the Zack Snyder dresses. Like, it broke records. If Netflix wants to... No, but think about it. When that movie released, it literally broke yeah. records. It broke records. Yeah, yeah. Think I about mean, it. I, I, like if I'm Netflix right now, if I'm Netflix, I'm thinking, hold on. Everybody really wants this guy. Warner Brothers, <laughs> they're like, they don't want him. They're giving, they're, we're buying, we're li- licensing some of their IP, right? Oh. You could, I mean, they could be like, hey, what if we just. Uh, you know what's weird too? And like, they're already working with him on Rebel Moon. You know what, what if they tell him, hey, look, we can give you, we can give you a two picture deal. You finish off Netflix, your justice and league. you finish it off here. Don't worry oh, about it. <laughs> That's between and you and me. And it brings all the records. It's like the highest grossy like streaming film. They would have to release it in theaters, I think, too. Like a limited time. You make some money in the theater. Oh. You get subscriptions. Could that be a, a, a possibility? I mean, Ben Affleck and, and has come out that saying. I was like, fuck, maybe I should have gotten the, the, the Zach. Yeah. But you know what's weird, too? Like, like his movie, like his movies had good CGI. Yeah, the 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 the, the Snyder? Snyder uh cut of Justice League has some great shots. Right? And I think it's because part of it is those were shots that were just removed because they didn't want it. I don't know why they sabotaged that movie as bad but, as But but even did. the Batman v Superman too, like it didn't have bad CGI. Yeah. It just looked It was fine. I the, No, the, but like it didn't have like bad like flash bad. No, yeah. The, I mean Flash I, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen that. In a while, <laughs> like you're, it was true. It's remember, true. It is very Scorpion King. Like remember 2000s. when uh, uh, Avengers Endgame did that? That like like they brought it back to theaters, and it shows like deleted scenes. Yeah, everybody was like, <laughs> it, was it was like, like sketches. <laughs> it was like sketches. That's that's like I pay money for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. It just anything to break that Avatar record, I and think. it still didn't. It still didn't. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, uh, James Cameron, that guy, he's on top. Yeah. I don't know. I, let's see. I hope DC can recover. But Netflix, Netflix, if you're listening, and Netflix, they don't give a shit. They'll give you money, and hey, like, they know, like, oh, wait, people want this, you know? Like, you don't think Netflix is looking like, how can we make money? How can we beat our competitors right now? And maybe they get licensed to that, and they can freaking get mm-hmm. Zach. They're already working with Zach now. Get them to do... And it's true, though, like him and Ben Affleck, when they talk about what they wanted to do, they don't say they, they always say, oh, we can't really give more info, you know, just in case. 
at the con, at the Snyder con thing. Yeah, and they sounded like like excited. So what does that mean? There's always, I guess, there's always opportunity. Always opportunity. Look how cool he fucking looked. Look like, uh, yeah, that's a good uh, imagining because after seeing it in the cartoon in the animated movie, uh, Justice League Wars, he was cool in that. But like, that's a good look at that uh, reimagining of him right there. Cool. It would have been nice to see him float around like in the animated movie, just floating around, zipping people. Yeah, because he said he wanted to get more into the, like, what does he say? Like, it's like, about, about, like the gods and stuff. Yeah, and- he went to this guy. <sighs> and the voice actor they got, like the way yeah, they like. Uh, and what's interesting too like, is they I'm could sorry. have continued it as Elseworld. <sighs> They could have. Because it was already set up. It was done. It was already set up. Like, just to finish the other two movies. Just finish it and then start your new one. Yeah. Like, Elseworlds. Do, like, an Elseworlds thing. But no. Or, you know what? What could have been smart. Yeah. Like, what if they had done in the last... they, They do a Justice League 2, and then on the third movie... They send it off. They it, something with the Flash. I don't know enough about these storylines, but you do something where it resets. It, it resets everything. Like it's, but it's a good but, farewell. But like you already have these, like it was already. It was a layup. It was set up already. Zach had it all planned out. It was done. And then while he's doing those, you have James Gunn setting up the next generation. Yep. We need to give a little call to Zaslav and talk to him. Yeah, Zaslav, he, he's like, oh, look, all right, James, I'll follow your lead. I'll trust you what you want. Of course, he's the creative or whatever, but damn. It was, Can you imagine if they announced we are going to, but you don't say that there's a new generation yet. You don't say. You, you Zaz- bring everyone back he's for gonna just finish League it. 2 and 3. You finish it off. And I'm sure there's a comic book because we saw the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox. Yeah, yeah, no, I was reading up on the animated series that we were watching. Because like they the, reset all the mo- yeah, a the, bunch the, of like, movies. Like, like the last one. That it watched, resets. It does something, and now they're doing the new standalone again. Yeah. Like it kind of like starts over. They could have done that here. That would have been a smarter way to do it. You'd like, hey, you give the Snyder fans. You just, I'm not saying like five more movies. Justice League 2 and 3. He, he clearly has, and while he's working on that, you have James Gunn preparing the next generation. Because it sucks, man. Like, like, when you watch the movie and you see that ending, how good of a tease it is, and it's like, we're never going to see this. Because you were, and, and also, think about it. Black Adam, if they did this, it's Black Adam. The Rock was just dumb, though. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole, I don't even want to talk about that, but the Black Adam thing, right? Then you have Shazam. Shazam sets up the, they do the, everything that, how they had it planned, like with the Henry Cavill stuff and this Flash and then Aquaman and then Zack Snyder's two and three. If, if he's able to, you have them release back to back years or whatever. And you right now would have been. Superman Legacy would still be able to come out around the same time, if not, maybe like 2026. But it gives more time for that movie to be done and set up for the future. But you could have done that, and you could have done like a Flashpoint Paradox thing with the last Justice League where they save the world, but like, you know, the only way to, you know, some, something where they have to reset. And then, but it sends everyone off beautifully. Yeah. Everything's it's perfect. Snyder fans get like the, you know, Zack's Justice League storyline. And then James Gunn comes in and is like, here, we're resetting. Here's our story. Yeah. And you just set yourself up for success. Because... Zack Snyder's Justice League did well on streaming. No, it broke records. It broke records. So they could have, if, if you could have released it on HBO Max if you wanted to, but I, you could have released it in theaters and see how it does. Because you have these movies coming out in theaters anyway, but at least it gives it purpose. That would have been, that, I mean, I wonder if that's a good idea. Uh, but it just seems like, I, I think it, there's this toxic uh, mindset that fandom is bad. And I think Zack Snyder's Justice League was, in their minds, the fans winning and Zack winning. Wow, I'm actually surprised. And I, I think that movie was, was their way of winning. Was the, the, the studio thinking, oh, the fans fucking won. You know, they got it. And then I think after that, they're like, fuck this. I think they were, like, hesitant to do it, too. I think they only did it because of... Um, 
I think there was just so much noise and with streaming and stuff. They probably needed like a big boost on HBO Max and they did it. But, but um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and for listening. We hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, until the next one. Goodbye.